I'm going to make a short screencast to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to begin working with Google App Engine and Open Blue Dragon. To start off with, we need to have um, Eclipse. I'm using the latest version of Eclipse, which is 3.5. Um, we then go to this URL, which I'll put in the blog post, and copy copy this um, this link here. We're going to install the Google Apps App Engine plugin to Eclipse. So we'll install new software. Um, add a new site, type Google, um, use that site. Um, I already have that installed, but basically you click through and just select all the default options and let that install. That will make you or ask you to restart your Eclipse instance. Um, I already have that running, so that's that's fine. Once that's installed, we'll start our Eclipse instance and choose a new and other uh, Google Web Application Project. Click next. Um, project name can be whatever you want. So call it this. And uh, this doesn't matter for what we're doing here. So you can just set it to whatever you like. Um, click finish. And we have all that's required for Google App Engine to process some Java application. Um, in this instance, I'm not going to need any of these files here. So I can. Um, I can just delete these. Okay, so now um, we want to download the Google App Engine build of Open Blue Dragon. Um, you can find that at, at this URL, and surprisingly, it's only a five meg download. Um, download that. I already have that um, downloaded, and here it is. It's a pretty small install. Um, we have a readme text file that basically goes through all the instructions that you need to to get this up and running. And inside this Word folder we have all the files we'll need to get um, Open Blue Dragon running on Google App Engine. I'm just going to copy these across into the Word folder and overwrite everything in there. There's nothing we need there. Okay, once that's up and running, we're going to have a look at this uh, CFM file and just see there's a little bit of cold vision code and uh, the, the main code we're looking at here is just a dump of the server just to, to prove that it's actually running. Um, I all, also have a Google App Engine account set up and ready. Um, I've set that up so um, I have no applications created so I'm going to create an application here. Um, verified your account using your mobile phone to receive the SMS and inputting the code. You come across the section where you create an application. Um, you can give it a title and yep, that's okay. It's available. Okay. Okay. Well, so we can see that I've got I have one application and there's nothing deployed for that application. So you need to know this name and you need the a account address you've used to sign up. So we've got this code, it's all ready to be deployed. Um, Google, deploy to Google App Engine. Um, and to use that. And you also need to click this App Engine Project Settings and this is where you need that application ID. So I'll take that. and paste that in there. Um, this is OK. The project name is just the name of the uh, Eclipse project and we click deploy. And we just wait for a little bit of time for it to send up send up the code to App Engine. <coughs> and in just a minute or so we'll see this has changed. So I'll pause the video right here because it takes a little bit. OK, once that's completed you can see in the console this deployment completed successfully and we can go back to our applications page, um, reload that. I'll we'll see that we've got one version, like we can version multiple. We'll click on that. We can see that Open Blue Dragon has been deployed to Google App Engine, and here's that HTML code, and also the dump of the server information. And you can see that the app server is Google App Engine, and we're running Blue Dragon. Um, that's the quickest, simplest uh, overview I guess I can give of getting Open Blue Dragon up on Google App Engine.